Hi guys, welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this week's video, we're going to take another look at Power Query and how you can use Power Query to help you group data. Now, as a reminder from previous videos, you find the Power Query options in this data tab. So if we go to data, it's get and transform data. Now you might want to group data, say you've got sales information or HR information. You can link it to a table that you already have using this from table range option, similar to how we did it in a previous Power Query video. However, in this example, I'm going to use an example from the web. If you want to follow along with this video, I'll include the link in the description below. But for now, let's get started. Now, importing data from the web is a really useful feature within Excel. We've covered it in a previous video, which I'll link to in the description below. But essentially, what you do is you go to this from web in your get and transform data group. And when we click on it, it will open up a little box. And you can have either basic or advanced. We're just going to use basic for now. You copy in the URL from the website that you want. Now, for an example today, I'm just going to take some population data from this worldometers.info site. As I said, I'll include the link below. And when we click on OK, once it loads up, you'll get this box here. And what you can do is you can look through the different tables that are on this particular website. Now, the first one doesn't really have a huge amount of information. In it. The one I want is this table zero. So you can look at this. It's got all the data in terms of world population that I want. You can load it directly into your workbook, but in this instance, I want to use Power Query to transform it. So to do this, I click on transform data and it will open up my Power Query editor box. Next, we're going to have a look at how we can apply some conditions to new columns in order to help us group our data. Now, say in this example, what I want to do is I want to group by this density in terms of population per kilometer squared. Say I want to categorize it as very high, high, average or low. So in order to do this, what I do is I come to my ribbon and click on this add column tab. And we looked at this in a previous video. We looked at a custom column. But in this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to insert a conditional column. So when you click on this, it will open up my little dialog box. And I'm going to call this, for example, density. And essentially what this does, it allows you to build an if function to help you group your data. So we start out with our if, we want to pick the column we want to group it by. In this instance, we want this density population per kilometer squared. And I want to say if this is greater than 10,000, then I want the output to be very high. And say I only wanted one clause, say I wanted my final one just to say low, we can click on OK, and it will group it on that basis. So if we scroll down, you'll see a handful of instances where very high appears. Now this isn't actually the categorization that I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my query settings on the side and click on this little gear wheel here we click into that, it reopens my box up. And what we're going to do is we're going to click add clause. So we've got our if, and if that's not true, we want a second option in here. So we're going to go back to our density. We're going to say if this one's greater than, and for example, say I go for a thousand this time, and say that's high, and we'll add in another clause, make that one greater than, and for sake of example, we'll just call that 100 and we'll call this, I don't know, average. You'll notice when you look in here, there are a number of different options. You can have equals, does not equal, greater than, less than. So you can pick what suits your grouping best. And then if we click OK, you can see that it's grouped that automatically. You could do the same thing for any other columns, creating new columns to group your data. Once you're happy with your table, what we do is we come back to our home tab and click on close and load. And it will load your data 
into your Excel workbook as a table. Now this has a lot of benefits in terms of data analysis. You can use your Power Query to group things even more. But the benefit is when you come into your table and click refresh, any updates in the data, either from your website or your other workbook, it will automatically do the changes you've made and categorize it. And if you did other data transformations, they would also be picked up. So I hope all these videos on Power Query are useful to you and you're getting a sense of what a powerful tool it can be in terms of data analysis and transformation. If there's specific things you'd like to know about, I'd love to hear about it in a comment, as I'll use this to inform future videos. As always, if you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.